In this scenario, Pierre, who works out in the plant, wants to report an incident. What we want to do is capture the essential information up front. Later, as we do the investigation, we can fill out the remaining information. So from the Finance and Operations main screen, we access the incident management through the Occupational Health and Safety menu. We might have saved that as a shortcut as well. Opening the Occupational Health and Safety screen is a simple dashboard. For example, we have permits to work. These will be demonstrated in another session. So for now, all we're going to do is record this incident by clicking on the Record New Incident button. The screen on the right-hand side is now very simple to fill in. Pierre has spoken to me about this, so I know more or less what is needed. All I want to do at this stage is just capture the essential information. So I will start with a description. I will report the time. I will classify the incident. I will specify where it happened. What specific location and who reported it. If I have any view on the basic cause, I can fill that out. I fill out the department. I am the person who recorded it. And there may be some details about the incident. If I have any information relating to the work activity and severity, I can fill these in as well. Right, I've filled out the information that I think is important, so I click OK and I'm done. The system then takes me to a screen which shows the information that I've just entered and also gives me an indication of what's going to happen next. Underneath the basic information are a sequence of tabs which will be filled out during the subsequent investigation. This is going to be shown in another demonstration. Right now, I think I'm happy with what I've put in here so far. And I just want to make sure that the Sheck manager has been notified. So I will send an email notification to the Sheck manager. And I can see from the system notification that this email was sent to peer at contosa.com.